makes a fiery rain Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire It went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns In the ring of fire It's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. And this is a three easy chord song. You know, it has three easy chords, but the rhythm of it, you know, when you switch chords, is actually pretty challenging. So I wouldn't say that this is the easiest tune. You know, if you want to learn a really easy three chord song in the same vein as this, Walk the Line by Johnny Cash is substantially easier than this one just because this one's really fast and we switch at really not random times but we definitely have to count this one out now before we get started if along the way you find that you need any extra help i have a free ebook it's completely free for all my subscribers that goes over all the basics you know all the chord shape stuff all the rhythm stuff that you need to get started on guitar and become a confident strummer so please check that out if you haven't gotten your copy yet Otherwise, we're just going to jump right in with the chord shapes. There's G. Then there's C. And D. And in this tune, there's a lot of quick switching from G to C, and then from G to D. So, like I said before, I have that free ebook. It comes with tutorial videos where we work on the switching in a really systematic way. So if you're having trouble switching from G to C or from G to D, I have a video for each of those. I'll put links in the corner down below. Anyways, now that we have those chord shapes down, I want to play through the chorus, which is the simplest part of this song. We're just going to count out loud playing downstrokes only so we can get each chord for the right number of times. Starting on D, one, two, three, four, 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 and it burns, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So already there, we're not just counting to four on each chord shape like we would with a really simple song, right? There's a lot of one, two, one, two, three, four, and that kind of stuff. So please go through that as many times as you need to. Anyways, once we're comfortable with that, we can add some strumming to it. And the most basic way that we can strum a song like this that strumming pattern is root down up and root just means to aim for the lower notes or the thicker strings of that chord shape so on a g chord we just aim there somewhere and we go root down up root down up one two one two so root on one and then a down up on two you know try that out on each shape on a d chord you might want to get your thumb touching the thickest string to mute it and you do the same thing you know, just a little stroke and then a down up. And now when we add it to our chord progression, we have to change the counting a little bit. We're going to go one E and a. So we're playing our root on one, and then we're going to play our down up on and a. And that's because this song is really fast. We're using what's called 16th notes. And in order to simplify it, we have to use 16th note counting, or else we're going to be counting up to crazy numbers on each chord shape. You know, this is a bit of a compromise. Like I said, this song is all about that rhythm. So we go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And then after we get used to the counting, we just count the number. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two
two, three, four. And what we end up doing is every time we count a number, we play root down up. One, two, three, four. And then it makes it pretty simple as far as keeping track of where you are in the song. You know, we right now we're going to play D four times. So we just do root down up four times on the D chord. You know, you'll see how this goes. I'm going to add this strumming pattern to the chorus now, to that chord progression that we just practiced. And you can always just watch this, see how it goes, and then try it after if you're feeling a little confused. But it's, it's actually pretty simple. Basically, we just play the strumming pattern every time we count a number. Starting on D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's the chorus, and now I want to take a look at the intro, and we're going to do it the same way. First, we're going to play downstrokes only, counting out when to switch the chords, and then we're going to add our strumming pattern to it. So we're starting out on a G chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. So that's not too bad. You can just try that as many times as you need to. And now we're going to add our strumming pattern. We play root down up every time we count a number, starting on G once again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. And that intro wouldn't be complete without that famous melody played on the trumpet. So I'll just put the tab here at the top and we'll go through it really quick. If you're not interested, you can always just skip ahead to the next section. We start off with our middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string. That's the third thinnest string. And we go four, five, six. Just one fret up at a time. You know, we add our fingers onto it. Just middle ring and then our pinky and then we're going to put our index finger on the third fret of the b string and we go down down up up down which is like the most common strumming pattern ever but in picking form you know so if you're not familiar with that i'll put a link in the corner it's a great strumming pattern to know it's literally like most songs use it and we just go down down up up down and then we put our ring finger on the fifth fret of that same string but we put it a little higher than usual we play the fifth fret of the B string. We roll our finger down to the fifth fret of the G string. And then our index finger back where it was before on the third fret of the B string. So that first half. And the second half is a little bit simpler. We're going to place our ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string. That's the same spot we started, but we're using our ring finger now. And then we're going to go down, down, up, up, down. That same pattern. Five, two, four. All on the G string. So the second half. And you'll work on it in halves. And then when we put it all together, one two, a three, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we start the tune. It's a burning flame. So that's the intro. Now all we have left to learn is the verse, and the verse is where we're really going to have to count. We'll start out once again by just playing downstrokes and counting it out, and then we'll add our strumming pattern after. Starting off on G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, ba -da. two, three, four. And it makes two, three, a fiery one. One, two, a ring of one, two, 
Go through that as many times as you need to to get the rhythm down. Now we're going to add some strumming to it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, one, two, three, four. Found two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. And I'm going to put a playthrough of this on my Patreon page with the melody so that you have a chance to play along with the song in a slow, consistent way. Um, that's available for members of my Patreon page. I'll put a link for that down below. Anyways, that's the verse. Now, the second verse is slightly different. It starts out the same way, but for the third and fourth lyrics, the rhythm's a little bit different. So let's just take a look at that. The lyrics are, I fell for you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. And let's just try the rhythm with that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And with the rhythm, one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those are all the components that make up the tune. Now I want to play through a little bit of the song just so we can get used to transitioning between the different parts. We're going to play the intro, the verse, and then the chorus. And let's just try it out. One, two, three. Ba -da -da -da. So now that we're acquainted with all the different parts of this song, it's time to try putting the entire thing together. And when it comes to the entire chord order, it goes like this. We start off with our intro, then we have the first verse and the chorus. So what we just practiced. And then there's an interlude, which is just our intro two times. Then we have another chorus and then our second verse, which is a little bit different than our first verse. Remember, the second half of our second verse is where those changes occur. And then we have two choruses, and the tag, or the, the way that we end the song, is by repeating the last bit of the chorus. And on the recording, it does it until it fades out, but you can just decide when to stop. You know, we just do that, the ring of fire, the ring of fire, 
the ring of fire and you just keep repeating that part over and over basically so you know just repeat the last bit of the chorus and that's how you would end the song you don't have to but that's what they do on the recording and at this point i want you to write that down and listen to the original recording that's going to help you develop your sense of form or where you are in the song i also have a complete playthrough of this on my patreon page where we play through the entire song substantially slower than the original recording with all the melody and stuff that you need to help you know what's going on you know because this is one of those songs where you want to count everything out and then if you're still lined up with the melody that confirms that you were counting correctly and i also have it without the melody in case you want to practice it that way some people requested that so why not um otherwise have a fun time practicing this one. Don't forget, there's my free ebook, which is completely free for all my subscribers, goes over all the basics. I also have a complete beginner's course, which takes you from absolute beginner to confident strummer, learning how to develop your rhythm, how to develop your accuracy and your dexterity with chord switching, you know, and everything that it takes to, to be a confident strummer. So please check that out if you'd like to help support the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.